Ilya, we have seen some intensity from you this week. You just had the final face-off with Alexander Volkanovsky. What do you take from those moments where you can last look into his eyes before you guys are both in the octagon? I feel like he's ready. He's ready, but I don't know if he's ready what he's, he's going to live tomorrow night. He, he will not be able even to touch me. I'm, listen to what I'm telling you. I prepare myself so hard, so hard that I just came to take that belt. What did that preparation look like? Where were the biggest areas of focus for you? To be honest, everywhere, everywhere. I prepare myself for, for the striking, for the wrestling, for the ground game, for everything. And like I said, I don't have the stamina to go for five rounds. I have to go for five days. Oh, I love that. You know, we know how evolved you are and how well-versed you are in both the ground and on the feet. But when you look at what Alex brings as a champion and as somebody you face as an opponent, where are the biggest threats and where do you feel like your skills will be most used? I'm more powerful than him. I'm more finisher than him. He's very technical. He has a lot of great skills. He has the experience. He knows how to administrate the, the, the energy in the fight, right? But as I told you before, I, maybe I didn't have so much experience, but you're gonna see me shine like someone who has a lot of experience inside the cage. You certainly carry yourself with the confidence of someone who has lots of experience, unbeaten so far in your career. When you picture yourself winning early, which I know you keep saying it's gonna be a first round, what makes you say that? Because of the preparation because of all the sparrings I did for this training camp and not in, in, in just in this training camp and every training camp I, I, I ever had, right? So I'm ready and prepared to take what belongs to me. I know that you were trying to grab that belt earlier this week. That is the end goal to have it wrapped around your waist at the end of our main event. What will it mean for you to be able to become world champion against not only Alexander Volkanovsky, but a guy who hasn't been beaten at 145 in a very long time? It's going to mean a lot that belief cre creates realities, right? That if you trust yourself, you have the faith, you work tirelessly, everything is possible in this life. So it's going to mean a lot to me. Well, El Matador, we look forward to, to watching this performance. Good luck to you. Have fun in our main event. Thank you. Thank you.